Hello friend, welcome back. So glad that you're here. I wanna tell you about another story from the life of Jacob. You remember Jacob had that brother Esau that he didn't get along with? Well, things got so bad with Jacob and Esau that Jacob tricked Esau. Jacob tricked Esau and his dad, and Esau was so mad at Jacob that Esau wanted to hurt Jacob really bad. Esau even wanted to kill Jacob. Yikes. Well, Jacob ran away. And Jacob ran and ran and ran until he got to his uncle's house. And he lived a long time with his uncle. And his uncle tricked him. And Jacob ended up tricking him back. What's with all this tricking, right? Man, not very kind things to do. But Jacob, who had tricked his brother, then he was tricked by his uncle. He tricks his uncle back, and the uncle gets so mad. But guess what? Jacob has to run away again. Well, Jacob thought, maybe I could go home to my parents. Maybe I could go home and be safe there. Well, guess who found out about that? Jacob's brother, Esau. So, Jacob hears that Esau is coming to meet you. And Jacob thinks, oh man, I know why he's coming to meet me. It's the reason why I left in the first place. He wants to hurt me. So Jacob finally has nowhere to go, right? He, he doesn't want to go forward to his parents' house, because Esau's coming to meet him. He doesn't want to go back where he came from because his uncle's still mad at him and wants to hurt him. Jacob feels like he has nowhere to go. Jacob has made some mistakes, hasn't he? And he has hurt people, and people don't want to be around him, and they may even want to hurt him back. And Jacob feels lost. Jacob feels like he's got nowhere to go. And so Jacob finally sits there and he prays. He talks to God. He says, dear God, why are you letting this happen? I thought you said you would be with me all the time. But things aren't so great right now, and it doesn't feel like you're with me. God, where are you? What is going on? And guess what? When he was done praying, you know what happened? God showed up. God was right there. In fact, God was right there, and he said, Come on, Jacob, let's wrestle. Let's wrestle. Have you ever wrestled with your brother or your sister maybe, or a cousin or a friend, a neighbor maybe, or maybe a parent, yeah? We ever wrestled with a parent and you try and try and you do whatever you can to, to tackle your parent or, or to win, whatever that might mean. And your parent might start letting you win, but nope. Your parents always so strong, huh? So strong. Well, that's kind of what happened with Jacob and God. Jacob and God were wrestling and wrestling. And, and how strong is God? How strong? Like super strong, right? Like totally way stronger than you or me or you and me together or anybody in the whole world. If we all got together and got all our strength together, God would still be stronger. 
and he's wrestling one man Jacob. Well, Jacob thinks that he's winning at some point, and then God says, nope, I'm gonna win. And Jacob finally says, God, I'm done wrestling. I'm done struggling, I'm done running, I'm done tricking people, I'm done looking out for myself. God, what do you want me to do? And God said, I want you to go to your brother. And I want you to say, you're sorry. Sometimes saying sorry and admitting that you're wrong, sometimes that's the hardest thing we could do, huh? Sometimes it's the last thing we want to do, but it's the right thing. God wants us to say sorry when we're wrong. He promises to be there, right there with us, no matter what. Let's thank God for that. Would you pray with me? Repeat after me. Dear God, thank you for loving me no matter what. Thank you for forgiving me no matter what mistakes I make. Help me to make wise choices. Help me to help others and love others and do things for others instead of only looking out for myself. Thank you, God, for reminding me even when I'm hiding, even when I'm running away, even when I've done wrong things, you are always coming to, uh, to me and forgiving me and encouraging me to do the right thing. Help me to listen to that, God. Thank you. In Jesus' name, amen. Thanks, friends. I'll see you again next week.